Hello Internet, this is Voice Tutorial with a demo on how to sync camera position to wave the, uh, the amplitude of audio. And the effect this will create is that uh, it varies actually if you do position or point of interest. Syncing point of interest to the amplitude, uh, using we'll be using the wiggle expression, which will shake the camera and then the audio amplitude will control how much that that property shakes. And if you were to do position, then it would um, it would look like everything that is all the three D layers are shaking with the audio. And then if you're doing point of interest, it looks like the camera itself is shaking because it changes where it's looking like a like a bad hand cam type of thing. And anyway, to get started, the first thing you need to do is create keyframes out of the audio. And you'll do that by right-clicking your audio layer, going to Keyframe Assistant, and convert audio to keyframes. This creates a null layer with all of the keyframe data that we'll need. And let's see, yeah, if you open it up, uh, there's these um, keyframes. They're on, they're on every layer, and as you can see, they're like maybe one. One, two, three, four, and they keep getting bigger. That's because they're synchronized to the amplitude of this. That's how they're generated. And so, in order to um, take this data and apply it to the wiggle for one of these properties, you'll need to Alt click, and I'm just going to do position because that's that's what I prefer. I don't really like the look of the point of interest wiggle. And you can uh, just whip over to the property and I'm just going to do both channels because there's not much of a difference between the two channels and that would just be a waste. So this temp, like uh, when I whipped to that it um, created this for me, this code, which assigns the variable of temp the value of this every frame. So whenever this is 33.22 the variable temp will be 33.22 and I can use, see I could do wiggle temp temp which and this will shake it, it won't shake it a lot, it just adds like a, a type of accent and I'm gonna move over to the preview window because I've prepared a, um, I've actually prepared a composition so you can see it via motion blur. So uh, ignore it because I didn't I didn't finish anything. Yeah, okay. So this composition that I have is just it's just black and it's got this blue square. And the blue square is 3D so it'll shake it'll move with the camera or it look like it's moving with the camera. And then motion blur is on. So when it wiggles will be I'll show you the motion blur that it creates. And so if I, I'll just repeat what I just did, and then okay. With temp, temp won't show us much since I'm just demonstrating the effect right now. So I'm going to create another variable, and I'll call that temp times uh, ten. Yeah, okay. And then wiggle amp 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 is more descriptive anyway, cause amplitude. Symbolism. Get it? Okay. So right now I'm on the beginning of the composition, so it's not there's not much blur around it, but you can see that it's it's got a lot of a lot of blur now, blurring the edges, and there are no keyframes on the square, so that is 100% the camera, and just to show that it's it's this. If I were to make it 100, that increases the limit that the wiggle can change the values every frame. So when I come over to the square, it just looks like a like a deformed thing. It's a thing that is deformed. It's a, it's a deformed thing. Yeah, I, I don't even know what that is. I don't know. What, what do people call that? It, oh well. And as I this is near the beginning of the composition, so it's not even much. This is looks like this is like what the other one looked like during the louder parts. And then as you get to the louder parts, it looks like that. It was just hideous. 
Maybe you could do something with it. I don't know. Anyway, that's how you um, <coughs> that's how you would do that. And if that's all you all you needed to know, you can stop watching now. But if you're just interested in seeing what um, if you're just interested in seeing what it looks like on point of interest, then stay tuned because I'll just demonstrate that now. So that's on there, and point of interest change where, changes where the uh, the camera's looking. So this the square is moving all around the screen right now. You can't really see it. Actually, I'm going to turn that down instead of 100. I'll make it at 10. So yeah, this the square is just moving everywhere. It's just it's moving at different places like on the camera's screen. So if I just whoops, if I just did if I didn't multiply it at all, I didn't scale it up, then you can see it it's shaking around a little bit. The object is, and yep, those are the um, the effects you can apply to the camera for uh, audio amplitude, and I hope it's useful to you in the future. So, get back to that uh, future. Yeah.